Hello guys, so welcome back to another sort of tutorial video and I just wanted to do a, a quick sort of tutorial with uh, Click Team Fusion and this tutorial is to do with uh, fading with actors as you can see and um, this is what I've got for you so let's just run the frame let's see how this goes so as you can see it's sort of fading and basically turning to it's like fading away and stuff like that so how I did this is uh, seriously okay um, I did this so I I might do it again just so you, you can see what you have to do but um, I'm just gonna give you some details so every one second um, when wait counter two so um this is counter two so let's just call this like i don't know um end of fade i don't know and this this counter is uh, called fading um so if end of fade equals zero and every one millisecond, like every uh, every one-th of a second or something like that, I don't really know, um, add 5 to the fading counter, which is this one right here, um, always set the transparency to value of the fading, so basically um, what I'm trying to say is, um, yeah, right click on here, go to effect, go to set out for bending coefficient, and if you put in, like, 255, like, right here, then it, then it will be invisible, but if you put it to zero, then it will be visible, so what I did is, um, I, I, um, put the value to um, this counter's current value. So if the counter is showing like um, number zero, if the fading counter is showing the number zero, then it will be visible. If the fading counter is showing um, the number 255, it will be invisible. So um, I've already done this, so I'm just gonna cancel. So then every one millisecond, um, every one of a second or something, uh, if uh, end of fade equals one, then subtract five. So then what I did was if um, the fading, if the uh, transparency of uh, this object, the active object, is equal to 255, five, basically invisible, then set the end of fade to one, and if it's equal to zero, then set counter to zero. I may try and do it in more detail, like in another video, but I'm just, I'm just showing you on how to do it. So I'm gonna try and replicate it now. So um, let's just create another frame. Obviously, you call it frame two. Um, put, um, let's make two counters and one active. So this one's going to be called end of fade, end of fade, this one's going to be called fading, there we go. So now what we're going to do is, <coughs> so let's just do this, so every, every 50, no no not every 50 seconds, every 50th of a second, um, add five to counter and also um, if if you do want the fading to be like well accurate like work all the time then do new condition special conditions always then do uh, then right click effect set alpha bending coefficient to current value of fading so then, if uh, so, like so, like I said, if that counter is equal to five, 
then the transparency will be at 5. So let's just try this now. As you can see, it's slowly fading. Yeah, it's slowly, fa uh, slowly, slowly fading. F fading. As you can see, slowly, slowly. There we go. Now it's gone. So now what we're gonna do is, um, if, uh, if the fading. Um, if, if the transparency is equal to 255, uh, you, you always have to have a uh, only one action one event loop, so otherwise it will stick to that number. If, if you only ha if you had that event there, that condition there by itself with no only one action, then the uh, end of uh, then the counter will stay as it as it's value all the time it will loop so you have to have only one action when event loops sort of uh, so that it won't loop so then when that counter is equal to 255 then set counter to 1 but then uh, if that counter is equal to 0 then only one action when event loops set counter back to 0 so then if um if so then if uh, the counter is equal to zero if the end of fade is equal to zero then insert end of fade zero yep but then if it's equal to one then basically what we're going to try and do is if it's equal to zero and the um, end of fade is equal to zero then the trend then it will add five to the transparency, but if it's equal to one, then it will it will make it less transparent. So when it's equal to zero, it will make it more transparent. So what we're going to try and do now is copy, and then change that to one. Then instead of add five, do subtract five. Now let's try this again. Let's just wait. So it's coming to two five five soon. So so now it's going back down. See? It set that to one, so now it's going back down and that is slowly becoming more visible. There we go, and now it's going back up. But now, if you want to make the process more faster, then all you have to do is change that to one, and then change the other one to one, and watch. See? Now it will fade. So that is basically how you do the um uh yeah. This is how that is how you basically make an active fade. So I hope you all enjoyed everybody. Hope this helps. I'm so I'm so used to saying hope you all enjoyed her. I'm so used to my other channel and the dude you sh you should sub if you're a gamer. But yeah, hope this helped you guys uh, make your games and stuff and um, if you want more tutorials then please do subscribe I am trying my best to get my tutorials out there but I do have so much stuff in my hands it's unbelievable I got this that and the other and I can't bother to explain what they are but yeah guys um hope this helped and goodbye everybody